Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. What, what are you doing here? Well, I guess you're doing here the same as me, right? Having a look at the boat launcher. Ain't it beautiful? Just, just so you know, this is not the same boat launcher I'm gonna show to you in just a bit. It's very similar, just this one is the not updated design because I was lazy and the other one is just a tiny bit better. But yeah, let's just check it out. We just press the button, go in and we are launched off, inverted, but the new design doesn't have it. And then we have a little waterfall. Oh, look at it. It's so amazing. Oh, I love it. I really, really do. Nice. And what is that behind me? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, GT, your host, and today we're doing another tutorial. And right here behind me, you can see the new boat launcher. And yeah, it's not the same as you saw before, but this one is actually a bit better. So, what makes this design so special from the one you have seen in the intro? Well, I'm gonna show it to you. Well, this design, first of all, it has a chest right over here near the spot. And it will fill up your dispenser with boats as much as you like. Also, this one is very, very much able to have a hopper line from some other point connect to the dispenser as well, which will make it able to yeah, drop off your boat somewhere else. And then the boat will go into your launcher again, which is located maybe just next to it, maybe a couple blocks away. What else do we've got? Well, we've got this double slime block launcher. And why are it two slime block? Well, you can of course use it like this. But due to boats acting very, very strange in Minecraft 1.11 as well as Minecraft 1.10, it might be just better to use two slime blocks. It gives a bit more, um, yeah, fire success rate. It doesn't work all the time. With the two slime blocks, I get a 95% chance of being launched off. And with just one slime block, I have around... 80% so the two slime blocks definitely makes it better so I do not recommend this when you do not have a backup plan for where you are going to be launched off from because if you just be pushed forward but you are not launched and you fall straight down I told you right here be careful so let's get on with the demonstration So, and now for the demonstration, let's get into the boat. We just stand on the pressure plate, we click right click, look forward and we be launched off. Now we can just go or our own way into the water pool and go onto the elevator, which you will see in a future episode and it's really nice. I just press the button and there I go. See it me flying. Did you expect that? Well, I did. <laughs> and we just go out go back around onto this place over here and then we can just drop our boat off near the cactus cacti or cactus i'm not really sure but i really really hope you liked this showcase and let's get on to the tutorial all right it's time for the tutorial so are you ready because i want to show you what you're gonna need for this tutorial and it is first of all right here in front of me because yeah we are all gonna agree with me that you cannot make a boat launcher without some water so i prepared a water body right here in front of us which we can use of course so let's have a look inside the chest i prepared it so all the items you're gonna need are right in here and if you are not sure what to do again and which items you need just scroll back to this part of the video and have a look at the items it will be fine so first off we want to grab ourselves the note block the stone pressure plate the orange wool blocks the redstone the dropper the hoppers the chest the piston the dispenser and that's where we are going to start off with so first off well we're gonna remove this back block right over here 
and we're gonna replace it with a note block. Why a note block? It doesn't have to be a note block, it can be any immovable block you may like. Then I wanna place this sticky, sticky piston right over there. It's really sticky, that's why the name Sticky Piston, but I guess you already knew. And let me grab ourselves a slime block. I guess I forgot to take it out of the chest, but two slime blocks are going right like this. Right now, I can put these ones away and I can pull out the other items that we're gonna need. Um, like so. And now I can just remove that one cause it's in the way. Where is our pressure plate going? Well, it's going right here on the middle. Shift click to place it on there and you will be ready to go. Next up, well, you can pick up the slime blocks, but it's not necessary. We're gonna place a stair just for decoration right over here. So we cover up that nasty piston. Next up, two solid blocks like this. Then we're going down a tiny bit and we're gonna place two more solid blocks like so. Then what we're gonna do is one more solid block, which is going to be your very last one right underneath of the piston. We're gonna place some redstone dust as well as a comparator right over here, a redstone torch, and then we're going over to the dispenser because our dispenser is going to be placed under the water body. We're gonna make sure that it does not face that way, but I guess we need to go into the water a tiny bit. We're gonna make sure that it faces into the middle of the pool. It's one lower than the water body, but for this to work, you also have to place a water block right in front of the dispenser because if not, the boat will yeah, just be dropped out and not be dispensed like a real boat, just as an item. Next up, we're gonna place our dropper. And our dropper is going to be right over here, facing upwards with a hopper on top. Then we're gonna place two more hoppers facing into the dispenser like so. And we're gonna place one chest, maybe a trap chest, it's all up to you, right over here and then you are all ready to go. It might just be a little advice, which is not what I showed in the beginning, but it might work better if you place a water bucket right over there in front of the dispenser as well. And then last thing to do, place some boats in the chest. So I really hope you liked today's tutorial and if you did, well, be sure to follow up the next water-based tutorials because they are gonna be awesome. And yeah, that's it for me. GT, follow up the experience next time because I'm signing out. Have a gentle time.